Hey guys, welcome back to Dad's Fox Body Garage. Just wanted to do a uh, quick video. Um, something a little different. Uh, yesterday I got the news that my dad had uh, passed away. And uh, he's been fighting uh, cancer and dementia now for... Uh, well, about four years. Um, it's only gotten really bad probably in the last year. Not that it's ever good, but um, he's been in a nursing home anyways for, you know, the past nine months or so. In a hospice for, you know, months. So, uh, you know, we're thankful for his passing that he's no longer suffering, but... Uh, Man, it's a real punch in the gut, you know. Uh, you kind of, sometimes in life, you, you think you're prepared for something. And uh, there's really no way to prepare. And then when it happens, you know, it really lets the wind out of your sails, you know. Um, my dad, you know, go, you know, talk about something other than cars, but it always seems to come back to cars. So my dad got me into cars. Um, I was out in the garage with him while he was working on his buddy's cars. And he taught me, you know, one wrench from another. And, you know, we started working on, you know, we started working on toys, you know, when we were kids, but or when I was a kid. But then I got into motorcycles when I was uh, probably about 10 years old. We got a 125cc dirt bike. And uh, after that, it was just, I was it was all over. You know, I was just amazed with engines and wanting to go faster. And um, was going back through some old photos, and maybe I'll post some up in the video here. Um, bought my first car when I was 15. It was a 1980 Pinto, rust-free, but didn't run. And uh, we took it apart. Ended up putting a uh, turbo coupe head on it converting it over to turbocharged but it was carbureted not fuel injected had meth injection on it and man that thing was a riot I painted it like a Porsche red it was, it was a lot of fun upset a lot of five O's back then I'll tell you because uh, you know that was that was the decade I grew up in you know is so in like uh, 80 687 you know the, the five o's were just ruling the street and uh with that pin on about a 20 roll um yeah we could we could hurt him pretty bad down on telegraph road but uh my dad was a huge part of my life um you know i think that's why i enjoy working on things like i do you know, I was trying to explain this to my kids, you know, I have three girls, uh, lovely girls, they're not too much into mechanics now, but when they were growing up, they'd hang out in the shop, and I used to have bridge ports and stuff out there, and they'd help me, you know, file and on parts and stuff like that, and just hanging out, at TV out there, it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I was explaining to one of them, I think it was uh, just today that uh you know when i'm working on cars it's just me it's not me working on just an inanimate object which uh, that's to be debated you know some of these cars seem like they have a soul but it, it it's not just turning wrenches and putting things together and making them run it's i'm using dad's distributor wrench or grandpa's socket set or you know you know, another grandfather's hammer or something you know it's always uh it's memories you know and you know like with my friends you know when i was younger and we would we would go racing um yeah we go racing down on telegraph or or cruising i should say right there's no racing anywhere um right right so uh it's just it's it's memories 
and the feeling you get when you're doing it you know like i one of my oldest friends you know he's a gearhead like me and you know it, we're just a different breed we like to tinker with stuff and you get that sense of satisfaction when it's done yeah but i think it's more of like when you're doing it it's almost like therapy you know um i don't know this this whole episode is just a bunch of rambling um but i wanted to do it for my dad and say you know i love you dad always will and you were a huge part of my life and uh you would have really enjoyed this car, that's for sure. You know, like I said before, I, I had a very similar engine back a long time ago. Um, different renditions of it, anyways. Had a blower and it went into a friend's car and he ended up blowing the blower up. The gears loosened up in the front and they smacked together. And, you know, I could talk about crazy stories forever about running over our own windshield in one of them. You know, that was a good time um, down on Telegraph. But, uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to say, like, my whole channel, you know, I had my dad in mind, you know, thus dad's fox body. It's, 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 it's not just me. It's my dad. It's all dads that, you know, work with their kids and pass along you know the bug you know and and the knowledge and the enjoyment you know it, it really is uh therapeutic working on cars and you know they are a lot of fun you know and the people are great you know you go to these car shows and they're just they're, they're like my kind of people you know you can just go up to any of them and just start talking so but just a little bit about the car, what I've been doing is, uh, you can see here, I uh, added a uh, oil catch can and uh, plumbed it into uh, both valve covers, just kind of teed it off. I don't know if I needed to tap both of them, but um, I really don't want crankcase pressure. And I use 5 8 hose just because that was what the, the kit came with 5 8 uh, nipples and the uh, valve cover 90s I had 5.8 so I'm like ah instead of downsizing I'll just use the 5.8 it looks a little bulky but eh, it's fine better too big than too small right I just don't want to push the rear main out of this thing by pressurizing the crankcase but I got a buddy of mine coming over tomorrow and uh, you know we're gonna work on the car and hang out and probably solve all the world's problems and all that stuff and uh, probably take it out for a rip, so maybe we'll get some video then. But uh, I just wanted, to, like I said before, you know, kind of make a, make a quick video about my dad and uh, thank him for everything he did for me. And uh, for all the dads out there, you know, you're a big part of your kids' lives. And... Uh, I know mine was in my life. So thanks again, Dad. I love you. And I'll see you on the other side someday.